Anthony, Anthony Fatano, Fatano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Today we'll be looking at a new project from Young Poop, the, his new album, Magnum Opus. I've been a fan of Young Poop since he dropped his first single several months ago. It's called Brick in My Butt. Fantastic lyricism, fantastic delivery. The video is just perfect. I really suggest you guys go and check that out. So this is the new album from Young Poop. It's called Magnum Opus. It's a very short project, very short, only about 24, 25 minutes in length. But it is, it, it hits hard. You know, it, it does its best with the time it's given. I haven't had a single, single good album come out at all in the last, uh, in the entire time I've been doing this. So I'm very glad to finally have an album that's worthy of my time. Welcome, Matt. Fantastic intro to the album. Really, really shows off the energy and lyric, lyrical ability of, uh, from such a young, fresh-faced artist. Followed by a really interesting, almost like horrorcore type uh, song. It's called Red Stuff. Fantastic as well. The outro in particular is fantastic. Gives me chills, goosebumps, just thinking about it. So third track is when it takes us to the Michael skits. Now, let me tell you something. This is fantastic. Young Poop has these little skits kind of peppered throughout. There's two of them. It's uh, And, you know, having two skits on a 10-track album might seem... A bit much, but trust me, it is fantastic and worth the time that's put into it. The first skit, it's about two and a half minutes long. And, and you know what? Young Poop goes in on how much he hates this idiot named Michael. And I totally understand. I understand his perspective. I understand where he's coming from. And even I hate Michael after I hear what he's saying, because Michael sounds like a fucking prick. Later on in the album, we get to hear kind of from Michael's perspective. That's some interesting stuff. But I still fucking hate Michael. After that, I Ain't Gay, gay But. Definitely a highlight. It really gets to show off his flow, his lyrical ability. Fantastic. Some very progressive lyrics here. Uh, Murder Your Family, later in the album. Uh, great track, great track. Great name. Fantastic execution. It, you know, it, 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 it's, a, it's a track all about murdering a family in their basement and, and what that would entail. Very... Very interesting stuff. And then we get kind of an emotional side of Young Poop with uh, this is not a joke, parentheses, help me. It, you know, it's very interesting going into Young Poop's psychology. He says some really interesting stuff, and he actually kills himself at the end of the track. So that's really cool, really cool dedication to the art. Then the song right after that, Titty Song, absolutely fantastic. Never heard anything like this. Quite original. Quite good lyricism. Honestly, I feel like the things on here like could rival some of the best lyricists of like of you know like hip hop history or even just music in general. And then there's a really nice little outro. Um, it's all right. It's fine. It is it's exactly what it needs to be. I just really want to show off that this album is exactly what we needed in these times. And so I'm giving it a very strong ten out of ten. No debate here. I, I'm sure once you listen to it, it'll be so much easier to understand what I'm saying. Transition. All right, folks, what did you think of the album? Young Poop's Magnum Opus. You can find it on Spotify, Google Play, and Apple Music. It's very interesting stuff, very cool, very original. Definitely deserving of Anthony Fantano's 10 out of 10.